this video tutorial I will explain how to keep SSH connection alive in Linux and Mac OS operating systems. In Linux and Apple operating systems, we have to create a .ssh folder. Inside that, we have to create a config file. In the config file, we can specify many SSH settings, including the keep alive SSH connection. And first, what we have to do is we have to open the config file in the text editor and then we have to add these lines in the config file. First one is host. The host value can be any name. That is just a label. Then a host name. The host which you want to connect. Here example.com is there. Here you can put your host name. Then a port number of this particular host and username of this host. Then server alive interval. Here I have given 240 and server alive count max I have given 2. With this configuration, the SSH client sends a packet to the server every 240 seconds to keep the connection alive. If the client does not receive the response, after 2 tries, it closes the connection. To get uh, detailed information about uh, all of the SSH configuration settings, we have to just type man space uh, SSH hyphen config at the command line. And uh, we have to just save the changes in the config file. Then you can connect to your account using SSH. What we have to do is in the command line, we have to type SSH example. Example is nothing but this value. Then we have to just monitor the connection. And if connection still drops, what we have to do is we have to gradually decrease server alive interval setting in the config file until uh, connection is stable. So currently we have set it as uh, 240 and uh, if connection is not stable, we have to reduce to 200, 150, 50, like that uh, change and uh, monitor the connection and uh, if it is okay, leave that value. To get the detailed information about uh, SSH configuration setting, we have to use uh, this command. This is how we have to create a config file inside dot .ssh folder. Host value I have given as example and host name I have given example.com. Instead of example.com, you have to provide the host which you want to access and give the port number related to the host name and give the username related to this host name. And to connect that, type SSH, then example. Example is the host value. Then click on enter. Here we got bad owner or permission on this particular file. We have to use sudo command sudo SSH example. And uh, this time it is showing uh, could not resolve host name example. Because uh, host name I have given uh, example.com and uh, if you provide uh, proper uh, remote host name and uh, proper uh, port number and uh, username, 
this will work properly. You can get uh, Java source code link from the description of the video. In mobile, to see the description, click on uh, this icon. It will expand like this, and uh, here you can see the description. It contains uh, Java source code links. Click on these links to get the Java source code. 